Research shows around 200,000 Florida children suffer from untreated mental health disorders. And now a basketball legend is trying to bring that number down. Magic Johnson was in Tallahassee today to push for change. Our Capitol reporter for Saunders takes us inside those efforts. High schooler Leanna Walker knows well the pressure of a modern teen. I personally, as a student athlete, struggle with mental health very often. A softball player says her life is a balancing act, athletics, learning, and everything else. Not only when we get home and escape mental health at school and just bad mental health in general, we are dealing with it during social media. So it's just around us at all periods in time. It's why researchers say one in five kids have a diagnosable mental health issue or that suicide is the second leading cause of death among those 10 to 34. If you're going to do something, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick up the phone. Basketball legend Magic Johnson with that message to students Tuesday. The NBA pro meeting with them at the old Capitol to talk about mental health and urge action from everyone, including lawmakers. Is there anything that you think the state legislature could do to help address the problem with student athletes and mental health? Just identifying that there, there is an issue and that there is a problem. For now, only a handful of bills are on file to address mental health in 2022. Among them, a review of the state's suicide prevention office to find weaknesses. Also, an effort to research alternative mental health treatments like ketamine. You know, we just have to come together as a community, as a state, as lawmakers to do something about to help them. Lawmakers begin their regular session in January. Time will tell if they have an appetite for mental health reform. Meanwhile, you're going to feel like this at times and it's going to be over eventually. Students like Walker will return to her daily pressures, but knowing she can speak up if she needs help. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.